We're currently sat in the house of Mr. Matthews in Hampshire. It's a 1920 property, five bedroom. Being an older property, the heat loss was fairly high and previously it was fed by an LPG gas boiler. One of the problems the customer was faced with was the very high running costs associated with LPG. This particular property being of 3,500 square feet um, actually required two heat pumps. This installation was the first Mitsubishi Cascade system installed in the field in the UK. We chose to use Mitsubishi products because it's really good equipment and the technical backup we receive is second to none. The installation of air to water heat pumps in this property meant that the client was able to qualify for the renewable heat incentive. The payments are made for seven years and this is basically to offset the cost of installing a renewable technology against a conventional system. But in addition to that, the client has major cost saving benefits in actual running costs, which is where these products come into their own. As you can see from the radiator behind me, that was actually one of the original radiators. When we did the heat loss calculations, we found that not all the radiators required changing. We also chose to put in what's called split systems rather than monoblocks. And these are systems that have refrigerant pipe work between the outdoor unit and the indoor hydro box in preference to the monoblock which has water between the outdoor unit and the house. To install these you need to be an F-Gas registered company which we are. Homeowners have absolutely nothing to worry about with regards to controls. They're actually even simpler than the ones they're used to. We do all the setting up and once the system's set up it's a, it's a case of leave it alone. So it's a very simple controller. You have your room temperature up and down button for setting your temperatures. You have a hot water mode button. So if you require extra hot water because you've got guests in the house, just a simple press of the button activates the hot water. And when you go on holiday, there's a holiday mode button. So incredibly simple to use. We're now stood outside the airing cupboard of Mr. Matthew's property, where as you can see, we have a 300 litre cylinder. The size of this cylinder is determined by the number of bedrooms in a property. The heat exchanger needs to be much larger than non-conventional cylinders, so quite frequently a cylinder change is necessary. This house has the benefit of a 7.5 kilowatt PV photovoltaic system. The electricity is actually used to run the heat pumps. In addition to that, we have a solar eye boost device providing plentiful amounts of hot water. This system, since the 5th of August last year, has actually put 1,100 kilowatts of electricity that would have gone back onto the grid into heating the hot water for free. We're now stood in the plant room of Mr. Matthew's house, where previously there was a conventional LPG gas boiler stood on the wall here. And as you can see, we have two Mitsubishi Ikadan hydro boxes on the wall. Being a cascade system, these systems can both run independently or when the heat load demands, they can run in conjunction with each other. Mitsubishi has incorporated duty sharing, so over the course of the year, the load is spread evenly between the two systems. As you can see, all the pipework has been methodically lagged. This is to ensure that the heat gets to the rooms where it's required. And just to the side of us here, we have the brains of the system, which controls everything that's done. We also have the facility with the Mitsubishi system to remotely control via the MelCloud service. This gives us control of the system remotely from an iPhone or an iPad or a computer. Here we are stood by the two 12 kilowatt Mitsubishi outdoor units. These systems can either run independently or in tandem with each other. They will only work both together when the, the heat load of the property demands that that's required. They would then alternate between the running to keep the running costs similar. As you can see, we have one unit fitted with air deflectors. This unit, we've taken them off to show what they're like without. The reason for fitting them in this particular instance was the close proximity of this unit to the back door. And the idea is to deflect the air away so when the client walks out the back door, they're not hit with a blast of cold air. These systems are fitted on the manufacturer's supplied mounting feet to get the units off the ground. And that enables us to fit a drain to the units to take the condensate to a local drain gully. They do produce water and in winter this could lead to freezing, so it's a good idea to take that condensate away from the units. <laughs>